Hello folks, Neil here from I Will Always Love Video Games, and what I'm going to show you this week for my flea market finds is nothing short of astonishing. Every single thing that I'm going to show you cost me one dollar a piece. Now, I didn't stick just to flea markets like I did the last couple of videos. I went to Goodwills and thrift shops, flea markets, swap meets, even a couple of pawn shops. But every item that I'm gonna show you cost me a single dollar. One Washington. Wait till you see what I got my hands on. First off, a couple of loose Dreamcast games. Well, not loose, they had the manuals. The Atari Anniversary Collection with the nice shiny cover. And Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation. A uh, couple of nice titles to add to my small but ever-growing Dreamcast collection. Here's an oddity that I grabbed from a pawn shop. Uh, it was mixed in with the music CDs. Remember a few videos ago I told you guys to always check the music CDs? Well, this was thrown in there. Looks like a PC game, but look at this corner up here. That's a CDI logo. It's a Philips CDI game mixed in with a bunch of music CDs. And it's complete. So... Pretty cool for a buck. I don't have a Philips CDI, but it's cool to say I own one of the games. A couple of PC games here. Uh, Delta Force, no manual. What are you going to do? Pinky and the Brain, World Conquest. This actually looks pretty cool. A modern classic, Heretic 2. Hell yes. Star Wars, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Holy crap. This, for a dollar, holy... Wow. And, eh. Marine Sharpshooter. Looks kind of cool. Um, even the graphics on the back, I mean, it's dated. It's 2003, but it actually looks pretty cool. I'm going to give this one a shot. Soul Calibur Legends. It's got Ivy on the cover, so that's uh, it, it kind of suckered me in. I had to get this. And even though I'm not a fan of the game itself, I still wanted to at least own it. Metroid Other Round. You know, the one that kind of ruined Samus. Uh, but, you know... It's in good shape, and it's nice to have a, a Metroid title for the Wii in my collection, so for a buck, I couldn't pass it up. Also at a pawn shop, I came across uh, something that was pretty... I've never seen this before. This is actually Star Wars the arcade game for the Atari 5200. The box is a little beat up, but it still has a little tab for you know where it hung in the store, and uh, the manual and everything is in here. The 5200, I owned one. It's a awful console, but it's Star Wars. It's boxed. I can fix, you know, this dent. I can deal with that. For a dollar, how can I pass this up? Sim City Societies. Eh, pretty cool. Out of nowhere appears a wild Sega Saturn game. What the hell? Shell Shock. I've never even heard of this, but it looks to be in uh, great shape and the manual is in there that just fell out. This is something I never come across, especially not at a pawn shop. A couple of Sega Master System games, Shooting Gallery and The Ninja. Not only are these in excellent shape, but this one still has the tab, and both of them, first of all, both of them look this clean, and they have the posters inside, you know, for all the hot Master System titles. They're in, they both have this. These are in incredible shape, and they were a dollar a piece. Not bad. One single solitary SNES game, Animaniacs. It's a good title. I prefer the Genesis version, but again, for a dollar, I could not pass it up. And one single lone NES game, but a boxed NES game, Destination Earth Star. The box is very frayed, but as you can see, it's still shiny and there's no dents or cuts or anything in the box. The box aesthetically looks pretty okay. And I mean, it's a dollar, and you don't come across this title too often. Now we're getting into the real meat of the finds that I got. What I'm about to show you, remember, all of these were a dollar a piece. First off, a nice big stack of GameCube games, and not sports crap, and not little kid crap. I'm talking Pac-Man Versus and Pac-Man World 2 combo. Both discs are in here. Metroid Prime with the bonus disc. Yes, it's in here. Ta-da! Outlaw Golf and Dark and Sky combo. Joe Matarera artwork. It, 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 I don't pass anything up that has his artwork on it. Star Wars Rogue Leader. It's the uh, player's choice version, but still. Awesome game. 
Ultimate Spider-Man, also player's choice. And I just came across a loose disc version of this, so now I can send that one away uh, to East Star Land or to Get Well Gamers and keep this one. Bounty Hunter. Sadly, it's not the one with the variant cover with Django's, you know, head, but still, a buck, a buck. There are a few things I'm a real sucker for. Old Capcom titles and compilation titles of arcade classics. And I had to grab these. Namco Museum and Midway Arcade Treasures. I couldn't pass these up. Uh, I am a sucker for these collections that have a ton of arcade classics in them. For a dollar a piece, this was a no-brainer. Two original Xbox titles, but they're great ones. Counter-Strike. Need I say more? And Doom 3. But not just Doom 3, Steelbook Doom 3, limited edition. Again, these were a dollar a piece. Finally, the biggest stack, PS2 games. Again, all a dollar a piece, and all of them are pretty damn good. Check this out. Blood Rain 2. I actually prefer the original over this, but whatever. The Incredibles. I love The Incredibles. Probably my favorite Pixar film. Grand Theft Auto 3. I already had a copy of this, but it was a Greatest Hits edition, and this one was 100% complete, so I couldn't pass it up. Virtua Fighter 4. One of my favorite games of the past 15 years. Bully. I had the uh, Scholarship Edition for 360, and I never had it on PS2, and I certainly didn't have the original uh, version with the embossed cover, but now I have it. I'm a happy guy. Remember how I said I was a sucker for classic arcade game anthologies? Well, then I grabbed some more. Another Atari anthology for PS2, and Midway Arcade Treasures for PS2. Uh, so now I have versions for the GameCube and the PS2, but I can never have too many of these. Resident Evil Code Veronica X, and inside, still has the Devil May Cry demo CD. For a dollar! Spider-Man 2, the best Spider-Man game ever made, hands down, period, end of discussion. Mortal Kombat, Armageddon, and actually this past week marked the 19th anniversary of the Mortal Kombat movie, and I have a confession to make. I really like the movie. Hey, it was better than Street Fighter. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, and check this out. I open this up, and inside, oh, it's gonna fall out. Inside was not only the game, someone crammed in here, the demo disc. Two for one, not bad. And finally, Devil May Cry 2. My, probably my least favorite of the Devil May Cry series, but it's Black Label, it's Capcom, it's complete, so I had to grab it. And so folks, that was my uber major ultra dollar a piece haul. Do you guys think I did okay? Uh, honestly, I think I did amazingly well. Unless a game is a sports game or something, unless it's rare. Um, if I see a game for a dollar, a measly dollar, I'm going to pick it up. Why not? I mean, I'd rather spend my money on something that's going to entertain me for hours on end than use it to buy a burger at McDonald's. Remember, I tell you this every week. Make sure you have extra cash on you, and if you're driving around and you see a mom and pop shop, a Goodwill, a flea market, a swap meet, even a pawn shop, pop in there. Take a look through the VHS tapes because those clamshell tapes, they could be Genesis games. Take a look at your music CD selections because there could be PC, Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, and as you can see, even Philips CDI games in there. Check out the board games because you never know, there might be some big box PC games in there. Check everything because you never know what you'll find. Until next time, my name is Neil and I will always love video games. Have a good one.